While most of the automotive world shifts towards hybrids and EVs, Ford still decides to stick to their guns and continues to give us this gas-guzzling V8 monster. Thank you, thank you, thank you Ford. Now anyway, this my friends is the 7th generation Ford Mustang GT Premium with the performance pack and in this video, we get to check it out. Let's do this. With the discontinuation of the Chevy Camaro and the Dodge Challenger, the Ford Mustang remains as the last pony car standing in a landscape that is fast shifting towards EVs and hybrids. Ford decided to stick to their guns and give the Mustang GT Premium even more power and even more performance upgrades without hurting the wallet, at least not by much. Uh, priced at 3,999,000 Philippine Pesos, this Mustang GT Premium still delivers serious horsepower in a relatively affordable package. But with the 7th Gen Mustang looking pretty similar to the previous Gen, what sort of upgrades can we expect from the latest Mustang GT Premium? But before we find out, special thanks to Ford Global City for providing the 7th Gen Mustang GT Premium to do this car feature. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. Now when you look at this 7th generation Mustang, you will think that it's more like a facelift of the 6th gen rather than an all-new generation. But that's because Ford has managed to nail the design with the 6th gen Mustang. So yeah, if it ain't broke, well, don't fix it. Still, we get some differences here in the 7th gen versus the 6th gen to well, differentiate this newer model such as the design of the LED headlight units. You see, we now get these tri-bar LED headlight units here as well as a heat extractor on the hood which is not present in the 6th gen Mustang. Now, the front grille of the 7th gen is also a bit larger and a little bit more aggressive than the 6th gen front grille although if you were to ask me my personal opinion yeah i prefer the sleek look of the 6th gen's front grille uh, versus this 7th gen still when you look at the overall front fascia of this mustang you will see that it is still unmistakably <laughs> unmistakably a ford mustang which for a lot of purists is a two thumbs up now since the local Mustang GT Premiums gets the performance pack, that means that we get a bunch of handling performance upgrades here. First up, this GT Premium gets these gunmetal finish 19-inch alley wheels that also has a staggered tire setup. Now behind those wheels, we now get four-wheel Brembo disc brakes. Oh yes, I mean in the 6th gen, we only had Brembo disc brakes up front, but now the 7th gen with the performance pack gets Brembo disc brakes on all four corners. Now of course, we still get the Magneride damping suspension system here, and we also have a limited slip differential, which completes the handling performance upgrades for this Mustang GT Premium. Now, if you need to take your Mustang out to, let's say, a village that has uh, pretty steep humps or if you need to go up a steep incline, well, you'll be happy to know that the ground clearance of the Mustang GT Premium is still pretty decent at 130 millimeters. So, yes, it can clear most um, road obstacles here in the country. Ay, mali. <laughs> Now, one of the best use that we have here with this Mustang GT Premium is the fact that we still get a heart-thumping, naturally aspirated V8 motor under the hood. Now, if you'll notice, this V8 engine gets a dual throttle body setup as well as dual intakes, which, my friends, is pretty badass. Now, this dual throttle body setup helps to give this V8 engine a little bit more power than before. Now, I'm talking 493 PS and 567 newton meters of torque. Now, all of that power can be sent to the rear wheels via a 10-speed automatic transmission, which is pretty much, well, the, the standard transmission setup already for Mustangs here in the Philippines. Now, I heard that uh, Ford Philippines will activate a, a press car of the Mustang GT Premium. So, yeah, I'm really, really hoping that I get a chance to drive that press car and do a full driving review video of this pony car. While the cockpit is still a familiar Mustang cockpit, the 7th Gen has now received some tech updates and changes that brings it forward into the 21st century. 
You see, we still get the same leather wrap Recaro bucket seats here. That's part of the performance package and a nice and chunky steering wheel here that has some carbon fiber designs there. And of course, we also have paddle shifters here behind the wheel. And the steering wheel, of course, also tilts and it also telescopes. Pretty much expected already from a Mustang. Now, here's the deal. When you look at the gauge cluster here, well, we no longer have the, you know, the classic rounded binnacle um, gauge housing there, and uh, we don't have the classic circular AC vets anymore. Rather, we have this humongous slab of screens, well, dual screens here. We have a 12-inch digital gauge cluster there and a 13-inch infotainment system, which, well, has all of the niceties that you would want in the 21st century. Now, this 12-inch uh, um, digital gauge cluster first, well, it has um, yeah, the, the same details and designs that we saw in the 6th gen, although now we do have that, uh, that Fox, uh, Fox body um, classic design if you want to make it look more like a classic 60s Mustang. Uh, still, it is a digital yes, display there, so uh, yeah, it might upset a few purists out there. Now, when you go over to the 13-inch touchscreen infotainment system here, we have, as I said, uh, the complete set. We have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. We also have the image of a reverse camera there. And we also have, uh, what else do we have here? Yeah, yeah we have a 12-speaker Bang and Olufsen speaker setup so just like before so yeah it's um it's going to sound really good although i haven't really driven this 7 gen mustang yet so i can't really comment on the sound stage now uh when you go down here you'll see that we have the usual uh well we have the usual uh, generic looking ac vents i'm really i'm really a bit disappointed that we don't get that classic circular ac vents anymore kind of you know reduces <laughs> <laughs> the Mustangness of this 7 Gen Mustang, but I mean that's just me. At least on the on the passenger dashboard side, we still have the word Mustang there with a pony right there, and at least this 7 Gen Mustang is also much safer than a lot of the classic Mustangs. Now, why do I say that? As you're seeing on your screen, we do have Ford's. 360 co-pilot system here which is the full driver assist aids that you can expect to keep well uh, the passengers of this Mustang safe at all times and uh, yeah I love that uh, that ADAS system of Ford it's really good it's really intuitive and it's quite easy to use now uh, when you go down here we also have a wireless charging pad there we have the 10 speed automatic transmission here and thankfully because the philippine mustang gt premium is equipped with the performance pack well we also get the drift brake oh yes um, yeah the 7 gen only has an electronic park brake uh, but if you opt for the performance pack which we have here in the philippines you get this really cool drift brake now this drift brake is still an electronic park brake but it allows you to lock the rear brakes in case you want to do some J-turns or if you want to do some drifting with this Mustang GT Premium, even if it's no longer a manual handbrake. So that is really cool. I'm really looking forward to really having a chance to drive this Mustang GT Premium in order to test out. Well, uh, uh, for the, uh, in the interest of science, you know, I want to test out this electronic drift brake that this 7 Gen has. So, yeah, if you look at the entire um, changes and updates that they did with this Mustang GT Premium, well, we get a lot of the, good, uh, the goodies, from the tech goodies here, which makes this GT Premium really more of a comfortable and a more connected Grand Tourer rather than a hooligan that will, you know, that will rattle your bones and <laughs> uh, make you uncomfortable. So, yeah, this is probably the most comfortable and safest Ford Mustang GT Premium that you can drive up to date. Now the rear end design of the 7 Gen Mustang GT Premium gets this all new concave rear end which is pretty similar to the design, the rear end design of the 1967 Mustang Fastbacks and I am loving it. I love this look because yeah it is quite distinctive but still a Mustang. Now, of course, we have these uh, triple bar LED taillight units here, and we have a set of quad exhaust pipes, which I'm pretty sure you wanna hear. So here's a sound bite. Thank you. 
Now those active exhaust, well those quad exhaust have active valve controls which means that you can uh, well, adjust the volume of your exhaust sound but I'm pretty sure you wanna have it in sports setting all the time in order for you to hear that glorious exhaust note. Now here at the rear end we have a couple of interesting features. First up, the rear glass. Check out the rear glass guys, we have here the image of the seven generations of the Ford Mustang there. Pretty cool, that is one easter egg that I just found out during this feature. And the second cool feature here is when you pop, pop open the trunk, you'll see that we have an emergency escape handle here. Yeah, but if you notice, it's in a light green color. That's because this, my friends, is glow in the freaking dark. Oh yes, so that means that if your, if your ex gets mad at you and she locks you in your trunk and kidnaps you and takes you to the hills, well, you can still see in the dark. You could see the escape handle there. You can pull it and you can get out of the trunk of this Ford Mustang GT Premium. Now, speaking of being kidnapped inside this trunk, well, uh, an average human can fit here because we still have 13.5 cubic feet worth of cargo capacity there. So, yeah, if you're not really out kidnapping people, well, you could still put maybe uh, a week to even two weeks worth of groceries here. Now, another feature here in the cargo area is, well, you also have the subwoofer there, which completes the audio speaker system of this Ford Mustang GT Premium. The 7th generation Mustang GT Premium may look like a facelift over the 6th gen, but that is perfectly alright. What's important is the Mustang still delivers the same tried and true formula that will continue to satisfy a lot of power junkies out there. A big, naturally aspirated V8 paired with rear-wheel drive all wrapped in a classic and undeniable package. So while the cockpit may have lost some of the classic vibe from the Mustangs of old, the mere fact that this brute here is the only pony car left standing is, well, enough for me to accept even those high-tech cabin changes. Anyway, thanks for watching.